my name is Hagrid. I'm sorry, but do I need to dye my hair blonde now? Is that what this means? What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. For today's video, I'm bringing back the wig videos. I haven't done a wig video in a hot minute, let me tell you. And I used to do all kinds of different wig testing videos, whether it was from Wish or eBay. But the thing is, I've never actually filmed a video about Amazon wigs, even though I have actually purchased some behind the scenes that I really, really like. So for today's video, I thought I would purchase a bunch of wigs that I really, really have been eyeing up on Amazon. And I thought I would kind of put them to the test on camera for you guys. All of these wigs are really affordable. They're usually like 20 pounds. I think there's only one or two that were like 40. Also, there's a good mixture of like front lace and non-front lace wigs. You guys will <laughs> definitely see the difference in just a sec. But in the past, I have actually found that there's a good few brands on Amazon that are affordable and do have a front lace, which is always good. Anyways, if you guys are brand new here and you guys haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Roxy. Welcome to my channel. If you guys wanna stick around, make sure you guys subscribe down below. Also, if you are new here and you wanna follow me on my social media, it's just at Roxaurus on everything. So make sure you guys catch up with me on there as well. But I guess it's now time Time to crack open these wigs and see what we've got here. So without further ado, let's get on into the video. All right, so first things first, I have my first wig. They actually all came in separate boxes. This one came in like a bag. I am literally so excited. Ooh, okay. This is actually one of the wigs I I'm really excited to see what it will be like in person because in the photo, this looked absolutely insane. Let me just get up the price of this. This cost me £26.90, okay? I'm pretty sure that's the one I think it is. Let's just get this bad boy open. Okay, so it comes with a wig cap. So this is the kind of bag that it came in. It's from the brand Hair Cube. This is actually a really affordable wig. So if this is decent, I am gonna be so happy. Oh my God, it actually looks so beautiful beautiful. You're kidding. You're actually kidding. Look at that freaking fade. I mean, I'm sorry, but I've tried my fair share of bad wigs. And when they try and do this sort of like dark to blonde ombre effect, it usually looks very, very cheap. But this one is so pretty. It's actually really nicely blended. It doesn't look fake. Like the actual hair looks really decent. This is really cute and it's got a fringe. It's got little um, side bangs or curtains, whatever you wanna call them. But yeah, it looks like a decent wig. It's actually also got a fake middle parting. Can you guys see that? A lot of wigs that are cheap don't usually have that. So that's really what gives it away that it's a wig when you can't see like the parting. All right, it's time for the dinner lady to come out. I'm just gonna <laughs> put all my hair back into a low ponytail. If any of you guys out there wear wigs a lot and you have very long hair, let me know like what the best way to kind of like lay your hair underneath your wig is because this is just what I do, it's what works for me. But I basically just tie it at the back of my neck like this and then I kind of just like take it forwards and then just lay it as flat as possible along my head. I know some people put it in braids and stuff but I find that braids make it a bit bulky so then I just literally take my wig cap and then pull everything over. <laughs> And then I usually get this like Justin Bieber fringe. But once I tuck it in, it should be all good. Okay, so that is my wig cap on. I'm looking like a little egg, but that's fine. Let's get this bad boy on. I'm so excited. Also, I just want to point out that sometimes when you get wigs, especially if they're cheap, they actually come with like really a lot of hair. Whereas this one, it actually feels like it's got a natural amount of hair. It doesn't feel too full. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What is going on here? Wow, it looks so cute. I mean, apart from the fringe, let's sort that out first. Gosh, I can't see a thing. I mean, so far, that looks really cute. I love the cut and I love the color. But the fringe, the fringe is a bit extra. Okay, I've got a little mirror. Let's see if I can like style these somehow. This fringe might need a bit of cutting because it is quite long and it's really getting in my eyes. The fringe is really <laughs> getting everywhere, but I actually kind of love this color on me. This is how my hair used to be, but obviously a lot longer. 
and now it's just fully grown out into brown. Okay, so this is how I've managed to style it the best. I mean, the fringe is definitely way too long. It would really need some cutting, but this looks so realistic. I'm just looking in the mirror and I'm like, wow, that actually looks like real hair. I'm sorry, but considering this was only like 27 pounds or however much it was, it's actually a really decent wig. Let me show you guys from the back as well so you can see. I'm sorry, but how cute is this wig? I feel like for once, I've actually started off the video Video with a success because usually these wig videos always go so wrong but I must say this first wig is definitely a winner I'm definitely gonna have to style and cut the wig myself because the fringe is definitely way too long but it's a really good base. I think out of 10, as this wig is, I think I'm gonna give it a nine. I think it would have had a 10 if the fringe was a little bit shorter, but obviously no wig is perfect when you get it out of the box. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with this one. I'm giving it a big thumbs up. Okay, moving on to the next wig. I actually have this one right here from a brand called Zywea, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, this is actually a brand I have purchased from in the past. I purchased the pink wig that you might have seen in my Doja Cat video from this brand, as well as the blue one that I used for a Kylie Jenner video like last year. They actually have pretty decent wigs and they are front lace and they're really colorful as well. So let's see what this one is like. By the way, what should we call her? Is she like an Alice, an Annabelle? What are we thinking? Bye bye. Oh, hello egg. All right, so moving on to the next wig. This is it, this is her. She is beautiful. I mean, look at the hair. Look at the hair, she is long. And look at this, it's got the lace that you can cut yourself. It literally looks like it will blend into my skin, which is perfect. I guess let's just crack her on. I mean, what have we got to lose, hey? So whilst I'm looking like this, like half bold, I think it's the time to tell you the price. So this is $35.99 for this wig. Okay, let's continue. So let's pull this over. Oh my gosh, you're kidding. Look how cute that is. I'm sorry, like, okay, ignore this, ignore that. But once we cut that, damn, this is gonna be a good wig. Hang on, let me pull it like over my little, <laughs> my actual wig cap, cause you can see my wig cap underneath. <gasps> look at that blend. Can you see the root? No, you can't, ma'am. I'm sorry, but look at that lace. Look at that blend. That literally looks so good. I'm too scared to cut the lace like right now. So I think what I'm gonna do is just fold in the lace underneath it. Okay, so my thoughts so far, I really like the wig. I think the hair feels nice. It is a little bit prone to tangling. So that's something to kind of bear in mind. But the fact that the lace front goes all the way from here down to the ears is a really good sign. It means that the wig is actually decent quality. And considering we only spent 35 pounds on it, I'm actually really, really impressed. As you guys can see in the center, it does sort of have that faux scalp thing in the middle that makes it look a little bit less like a wig. The one thing I would say that I don't really like about it is how like boxy it is right here at the top. Do you see what I'm saying? It just looks really bulky and like really big. It makes my head look massive. This is what it looks like from the back as well. As you can see, it's got that really nice curl to it. I think my first step of this wig would definitely be to thin it out a little bit because there is just way, way too much hair. It's super thick and it's a bit unnatural. But out of 10, I feel like this wig definitely has some potential. So I'm gonna give it like an eight. Also, I have to say this wig is giving me such like anime vibes and I love it because I love anime. <laughs> All right, moving on to the next wig. Let's crack it open. I do actually have some shorter wigs as well, which I have a feeling this might be one of the shorter ones. So here is what's inside. As you guys can see, we've got a little short blonde moment, which I'm very looking forward to. All right, so let's see what this wig is about. I'm looking forward to this. I'm hoping it's gonna be decent because I just really miss my blonde hair. As much as I'm liking being brunette and like having no work at all that needs to be done to my hair, I just, I miss my blonde, you know? And again, this is another one that actually has a fringe. I'm so excited for this. All right, so first things first, I can definitely see that this wig is a little bit more like wiggy. You can tell by the hair that it's a bit more synthetic. It's a bit more shiny. And I think that the thing that gives it away especially is the fact that the wig actually has like very distinct 
changes in color. Like it's got a few strands that are really yellow. It's got lots of like patches of whiter strands. And also the actual scalp looks really fake as you guys can see. So I guess let's try it on. I hope this is gonna look cute. I really do. Okay, right now that is not cute. Let's get this fringe out. Jesus Christ, what is going on here? The whole fringe is like tucked underneath. All right, so this is what it kind of looks like. All laid down. The fringe is definitely really, really long, which I would need to cut, but the wig itself is not bad. I don't have an issue with the hair. The hair feels really nice. It's not shedding too much. And I actually really like that it's not too full. I feel like when a wig is really thick and volumized, especially right here, that's when it really looks fake. But this looks so freaking good. What the hell? I'm sorry, but do I need to dye my hair blonde now? Is that what this means? This wig is so cute. I mean, the fringe is not really my style. I don't think it really fits my face shape, but the actual hair color is really cool. I genuinely feel like this literally looks like Taylor Swift's hair. Like I could actually use this wig for a Taylor Swift transformation. That is such a good idea. I might have to like straighten it and style it a bit better. But if I ever did like a turning into Taylor Swift for a week video, then this would be perfect. This is what it looks like from the back as well. I really like this. It's actually just crazy how much a hair color can change a person. I literally feel like a brand new bish. Like, I love this. Just so you guys know as well, this wig was only $18.99. $18.99? You're actually kidding. Okay, moving on. This is the next wig. I think this is also gonna be another short one, but this one, I think I'm actually even more excited for. Okay, so this one? is a black wig and I am just so excited. This is a black bob. Okay, once you see this wig and the style of it, you're gonna know exactly who this makes me think of, okay? All right, what Netflix character comes to mind when you see this wig? You have three seconds, go. Go comment right now. This wig makes me think of Adele from Behind Her Eyes. And honestly, as soon as I saw it, I was like, I need to get this. And it's even funnier because ever since Behind Her Eyes came out, I get so many DMs on Instagram, literally of people telling me I look like her. And I don't really understand it. I think it's literally just the eye color. I don't think my face looks anything like it. I just have the same light blue eyes as she does. But I thought it'd be really funny if I tried her hair on to really see if I look like her. All right, are we ready for Miss Adele? Come on, Adele, pull through. Come on, you got this. <gasps> oh my actual God. Wait, I need to adjust this. Wow. That is, that is so different. This is such a different wig for me. I've literally never ever had hair like this in my life. Like never this short. Never this color. Okay, so this is the wig on. This is as good as I can style it, but oh my God, this is literally so different for me. I don't think short hair really suits me, but do I look like Adele? What do you guys think? I think I just look so different from her. I also think that this wig is slightly different from her hair because it's kind of like lopsided. This side is really a lot longer than this side. I don't know if I like this. I just think this looks so alien to me. So what are we thinking? What are we gonna rate this out of 10? I don't know if I like this one as much as the other ones just because it's so weird to me to see myself like this. But I think the wig is pretty decent quality. Like the actual hair feels nice. It doesn't feel too thick. It doesn't feel too fake. I actually think it's really nice, but I don't think it suits me. So I'm gonna give it an eight. Okay, we have three more weeks to go. The next one is actually a ginger one, which I'm really excited to try. Okay, so this is the wig and what it looks like. It actually feels really nice and really soft. Soft. It's got a slight kind of like curl to it more of a wave I would say and again, this one also has a fringe I was really trying to play around with different styles this time. Okay, first things first I don't know if I suit this hair color. <laughs> All right, so this is the wig on Let me just kind of put it into place first. All right, so this is the wig on I've got to say I actually really like this I don't know if the color suits me per se, but I kind of feel like Hermione Granger in this <laughs> I've kind of tried to style the fringe a bit to the side because if I did it in the center, 
it's just way too long. I mean, if you got this wig, you could always cut the fringe and everything and make it, you know, suited to your taste. But yeah, this is what it looks like. It's pretty full. So it kind of definitely looks like a wig because of that. I've got to say, I really like the look of this wig. I love the texture of it, the like slight crimping. I think out of 10, this wig deserves a nine. Okay, moving on, we have yet another wig from the brand. Zywea. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. Okay, this one is a black one. I'm hoping this is gonna be cute. All the black wigs that I currently own are usually very long and very straight, whereas this one has like a slight kind of wave and curl to it. I am actually really excited to try this on. It looks hella cute and the lace looks really nice as well. All right, what's Kylie Jenner got to say? <laughs> I'm sorry, but that is just so much hair. Right now, I feel like I'm 99% hair. There is just so much of this wig. It's literally going on for days. I mean, don't get me wrong. It looks pretty decent. Like the actual hair, the quality of the wig feels nice. It actually doesn't look too much like a wig either. What I mean by that is that the hair doesn't look awfully shiny. Like I've got all these studio lights on and it doesn't look like it's a wig. So sadly, the actual lace is a lot darker than my skin tone. So I would say this is definitely a wig for someone of a deeper skin tone. This would literally blend into your skin like butter. But if I was to keep this wig and make it work for me, I would have to cover the lace with my foundation shade. But I I mean, looking at the hair is actually really nice. Like the wig feels like real hair. Let me show you what it looks like from the back as well. As you can see, there's a lot of hair here. I feel like it's quite hard to visualize what this wig could look like because of the hairline and the lace being too dark. So I'm just gonna pop on my trusty bubble hat and just kind of cover that up and see what that would look like. Okay, do I need to dye my hair black now? I'm so confused. I don't think I could ever actually pull off black hair in the real world. I just don't think that's a thing. But right here, right now, don't mind if I do. The last wig I have is right here and it's another brown one. I'm sure you're probably thinking, why would she try a brown head wig when she literally has brown hair? But this one, it's a slightly different shade of brown and it has a fringe. I used to have a fringe when I was younger, you know, and honestly, never again. Like, it literally made my face look like a square. There's just some face shapes that work with a fringe and some that do not. And I have one of those faces that does not work with a fringe. Okay, so this is the next wig and I'm actually kind of feeling like this is more Hermione Granger than the previous one that I said was Hermione Granger. Are we getting that vibe? Like this wig is brown, but it's got that slight ginger sort of hue to it. All right, let's see how this one works out for me. Why does this keep happening? Why is the fringe like tucking in? This is it, this is the look. Get the London look. Hello everyone, my name is Hagrid. Oh my gosh, what is going on here? Where is my face gone? Fringe, come on, come on, cooperate. Okay, so this is the best I can get this last wig to look. I mean, the fringe again is very long. I had to like kind of position it towards the sides to obviously not get in my eyes. But I actually really like this wig. It's very large, very poofy, but I mean, it's a curly hair wig, like that's kind of what you expect. I mean, if I was to properly style this wig, I would definitely for one, cut the fringe and then I'd probably like thin out the wig just a little bit because I think it is too thick. But this is what she looks like. I really, really like this hair color and I love the fringe and the texture. It's definitely very different for me. So yeah, what should we call her? Should we call her Hermione? Should we call her something else? Let me know in the comments. All right guys, so that is all for today's video. I'm gonna finish it off in my favorite wig. I honestly love this wig so much. Now that I've got it on again, I've kind of had time to like reflect on it. And I think it's still really one of the nicest wigs that I've purchased off of like Amazon or eBay or any website like that. Mainly because they literally nailed the actual like fade and the coloring of it. But the actual cut of it, like the fringe is making me think of like the 80s. It's got like that 80s kind of flair to it. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna cut the fringe just a little bit so it's not so like long and in your face. But yes, that is all for today's video.
video, let me know in the comments below which one of these wigs was your favorite. Honestly, I think this one and the pink one are like two of my faves. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe, come and join the dinosaur family, and also give this video a huge thumbs up. I will pop all of my wig videos up to date in the description, so if you guys like this video, make sure you guys check those out as well. But anyways, that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Mwah!